one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the interior review of this 1997 Mercedes Benz S420 limousine. It's a crystal coach, it only has about 72,000 original miles on it. I did the exterior review already, so you've probably seen that. If not, check my channel um, and all that good stuff. I'm going to do a simple, quick walk around this time of night to where you can see it in the different lighting than it was in the exterior walk around. It's a good looking limo. It's straight. It's got the obvious damage that I show in the exterior video. Make sure and watch everything and I go up close and show any kind of damage, marks and that kind of stuff. And I will also do the same thing right now with the interior. If you're looking for a limo like this and you want one cheap, call me. My name's Nathan. It's 406-546-8748. I'll make you a deal. That's what it's all about, right? Price. And this is a nice light project limo that I'm sure you'll have a blast with. So, I guess that's that. And I'm going to start showing you the inside, outside, and all around the side of this Mercedes-Benz. So I'm going to get my camera phone out. Camera phone? Yeah, sure, camera phone, why not? Flashlight phone. I keep thinking, hey, using a flash from the video. Battery, we'll call it a camera phone. Door panels, in great shape. Seats, great shape. Not all ripped up or torn up. It's a very clean, looks to be well-maintained vehicle. Um, dash is clean, pedals hardly anywhere. There's a little wear on that edge right there. Um, that's about it. Um, I don't have floor mats in it. I'm going to go ahead while I'm doing this review and, oops, maybe I'm not, and fire it up. Center console and all that. Great shape. Got your cup holders in this here, which are very nice. A little pocket there. And there's your... AC adapter, lighter, whatever. And, yeah, dash. Just clean. I'll give you a view back here from up here. Pretty nice. Okay, so, man, that's that. Let's look. Let's look in the back. Nice panels. Beautiful seating, not all ripped up or torn up. This one I didn't even bring down. It should have cup holders. Could have a gold coin in there. No, just cup holders. And tissue, in case you need it. There's no medical kit in there anymore, but I don't trust them anyways at this thing. So there's a screen over there. No, I'm gonna have to refocus so you can see while we're in here. Let me do this. Let me close that door, get in my pocket, get my camera phone. <laughs> Not again. Got all the glasses, wine glasses, champagne or whatever, trash cans, little wow. Let me this up. Little holders here. Little ports for air. So the air conditioning comes out back here also. Um, sunroof in the back. This all gets the chitter chatter of the radio, but it's not. It's getting nothing there. All this stuff is what this stuff is. Uh, AC and everything. There's your extra AC. I don't know where that one. Oh, it's coming out right here. Yeah, so that's on. Um, there's your lighting. You see that? Right on the top. Let me pull this back down. These sometimes never get used enough, and then lights just go out. Um, let's see. TV is on the upper thing, and the motors aren't hooked up for the divider. Uh, let me see here. There's the cabin lights. And... Oh, the lights in the bar. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Along there, that's cool. Ooh, cool, and they change color. Isn't that neat? I have to come out and take pictures of this tonight. I'm gonna take a picture right now. Okay, I got that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool with the changing lights. Let's put the 
lights on the changing lights. I think it looks better with that. And the stars in the background. Pretty classy. That's your um, screen that usually was up there. Headliners just looks great. Um, the tent is coming off the window right there. Actually, that is a crack in the window right there. Sure is. Almost positive, or is it? It's been sealed up though. This side has the tinting gone bad, as you can see right here. Kind of wrinkled up there. Great, 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 fun little car. Fun little car. Okay, let's get up and out and show you the trunk. I mean, it's just like any other trunk. Also, while I'm at it, I'll pop the hood and show you under the hood. Let me get this thing here. There we go. The cladding. It needs the clips. There's a couple clips missing. Um, there's the extra battery for the extremities or whatever. This 10 disc changer. With the magazine missing. It does have the spare. It does have most of the tools. Oh, dropped my phone. I have one mat. It's a factory mat. It's just loose on this stuff. It needs to be having the clips put back up in there. Because right now, the clips aren't where they're supposed to be. The star is broken on there. I didn't show you that or talk about that in the exterior video. And I actually should have because that's just what I should have done. Wrinkling up there. Ah, that's cool, man. I'm digging that inside light. Okay, well, that's your inside over here. Let me take a picture or two. Okay, front passenger, just excellent. A little smudge of some sort right there, a mark. Uh, see through great. Here's your sunroof and all that stuff. Power, color, battery, you name it. I don't know how it all works. I don't know how it all works. Let me pop the hood and do all that next. Oh, dash. I want to show you now the dash. It's just gorgeous. It's in great shape. Headliner and all that. By the way, how long hasn't it been in service? I don't know, but <laughs> that could be an indicator. Um, let me get in here. Now the pop-out thing, it's up in here now. Um, oops, I slipped off. Got a little tie on it, but just with a different meshing of the two cars, it's not exactly factory. Um, the motor's great. I believe it's the W140 power plant and under the hood pinnings, but I guess you'd call it under the hood pinnings. They've added on this kind of stuff which is an aftermarket part and has corroded on top. I was going to paint them up, but I didn't do absolutely nothing to it. Just kind of cleaned it up, but both sides are like that. We got everything in here nice. It's all, it's interesting the way it all went together and fit together. And you've got two bodies on one thing. Pretty cool. Or two bodies, you know what I mean. W140 car with a 220 upgrade kit on it. So... There's your, it's just clean. It's a clean car. It has wrong with it, what it has wrong with it that I've shown you, but also not a whole lot to talk about as far as that. It just needs a little fixing up and getting back on the road. Typical project, but it's in a limo. Who knows what this thing costs you? Okay, this window does not go all the way up. Uh, it's gonna need a window regulator, which as you know, if you're into these cars, is kind of probably their number one problem. 72,000 original miles. It's insane. It's a great low mile car. Let me get this here thing. And it just does not go all the way up. Like I say, dash, beautiful. That one works. 
that's always the one that goes out and it sounds and looks good, right? That one does not work the rear pass, so it needs a regulator also. Just as much as you look back there, great shape. The interior is just as nice as it gets. Now you got the gray cloth and everything here. There's that. And this used to be for the sunroof here, which is being covered up. Look at all your lights. I wonder if it's more back there. No, it's not. Okay, so let's do the seat. Look at that dash. I'm telling you, it's just clean. Um, seats. Let me do these here. I'm going to do the. I'll be back. Okay, here I am to do the test drive. I had problems, people called me, I had to go do something else, and then I had camera problems on the second test drive, so I'm just adding them in. I had a broken broken hand in between all that. So, here we go, test drive. Like I say, interior is beautiful. It's in great shape. It is in great shape. And, oh man! I think that was while I was in the gym. Man. Some pootered on it. I messed up my video, kinda, but the car runs great, the car drives great. You're gonna have a couple things you repair on it. It's been out of service for quite a while. Man, I'm having quite a time starting cars with the, uh, see now there, the ASR ABS brake light went out. And a lot of times they weren't on. Um, that was actually the first, look at everything is clicking right along now. Check engine lights on, so. All this stuff, it's intermittent, so it's a sensor, I think. Um, just have it, oh, and see there right? When I just put the brake on and did it, it came back on. So I'm almost positive it's a sensor, um, but pretty simple to fix these kind of things and diagnose them on it. Um, it's a very nice car, and it may just be something that with the other, in fact, I, I kind of believe the way it's driving nicely and all, it's something with the conversion that makes them um, be like that because they converted it from a 140 to a 220 which what a way to go I mean all the 140 guts and the now I like the 140 outer better but this most certainly does look newer than the 140 brakes nice and everything of course somebody's gonna come out in front of me so We'll just slow down here for a minute. Let them get ahead of us. Where I can kind of put the boots to it a little bit. And I'd like to, it just feels like it wants to shift out of that gear. It really does. Can't even, this guy's going 25 and a 45 or a 40. So yeah, that's how my test drives go a lot of times, I tell you. It doesn't want to shift out of that gear. And I just want everybody to know that's the way it drives. And I never, ever would I fix stuff like this. It's just not something that I should fix before I sell it because then you don't get the warranty. And that's very important. With a transmission, which would be the weakest link on this car. There's 45 and it is not shifting. That's the speed limit here. I'm gonna try and downshift. It ain't gonna, it just ain't gonna tap. It's gonna run 3,500 RPMs there. Hope you can see that. Sorry about the change in the light. But, and I'm running at pretty heavy RPM for a second there, hoping it would pop and switch. And that's why I think a filter and fluid may do something. Flush, you know, all that good stuff. But, I don't know, it's just been sitting so long. And these test drives are the most I've done with it. And I'm not gonna get all into it. I'm gonna. Let the next person be the person. So here we are coming back to my place. This is your cool little test drive and such. And here we go. Nice little classic 535. T or I? I can never tell these T's. A little bit of squeakage there. It's been sitting, so get a little bit of corrode, uh, rust, patina on the calipers. They're not rusted. You just get some uh, surface rust on them. Get you squeaking and grinding a bit when you don't use it much. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and if you're interested in this, check my website. You'll see it on there um, with 
50, 80 pictures. And you can always call me at 406-546-8748. Make sure and subscribe and add me um, here on YouTube. Like my video if you would and talk to me about this car. Say something to me. I don't know. We're all just sitting here doing this stuff. Let's let's talk a little bit. So comment, like, video, and all that. Here we are. Range Rover sold. Got another Lincoln limo over here. I've got a Mercedes 123 limo in the back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and park this one here. And there we go. Okay. That's the deal. That's your limo. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Look at all the cars, man. Firebirds, and there's a 750 IL back there. There's a uh, R129. I forget all my Mercedes codes, the convertible. Okay, that's your video. If you're interested, you can check out all kinds of pictures on my website, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Use the numeral one. And you can subscribe to my channel, all kinds of videos on here of this car. And it's a nice car. All kinds of videos on there, not of this car, of all kinds of other Mercedes and classic cars, projects and clean cars, whatever you want. I probably got something close to it. That's that. 406-546-8748. Call me anytime. Name's Nathan. And other than that, well, have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.